so to add the loader I am using this website you can see here and uh, I downloaded the zip because when you click on download here it takes you to the github page and there is the download button so you can download the zip from there and here I have the SVG loader um, package so we have loaders here so I take the circle I just copy this go into our application and inside in the public folder because public folder are going to have all the assets that we're going to put in there so in assets uh, we can say images and I'm going to paste in there so we have circles.svg now in our code I have this on uh, our layout file we're going to add this so that on every page on the top of every page we get this so here I have the image tag then asset now in public folder g and inside that we need to copy the name of this file so it's circle start svt all right so i'm going to save that and let's see in the browser if something changed just changes I refresh so It says get and load the image. Now refresh. Yes, there you can see when I click on this, it changes. So, what I need to do here is that uh, I'm going to say uh, I'm going to put it inside a div. It's going to be a div with the class is equal to loader. Alright, so I'm going to cut this image and paste inside it. Now I refresh the page and here I select that particular div and let's style it. So what we need to do, we need to say width 100% height 100% we want it to be position absolute Now we can say top uh, 20 pixel. I can't see it, so we need to change the color to see that. It's a background. So yeah, we changing the background now. You can see that background. We can say hash three two three. Yeah, this is much better. Now top, we can say 30 percent. Now, this is supposed to be padding. I need to correct that. Padding top 30%. So, where it goes, it goes two, to two down. So, you need to bring a little up, like here. And then we're going to say padding left. Let's say 30%. We are having it here. Let's take more in the middle. Or we can say March, let's say if it works, margin zero auto. Now, yeah, it doesn't. So every day we say Z index to 999. Or you can put a number so that it comes on the top. You can see we have this loader. And uh, I want to make it fixed. Because if you scroll, it won't change, it stays there it stays there now. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to copy this code and I'm going to copy this and paste it to the layout file. So we have CSS here and I'm going to do it this way. Now if I go to the website we have a loader but we need to do a little trick here. What we need to do in the same layout file, first of all I want to say display none so that it is hidden. All right. Now, what we go? We go to the bottom and write some JavaScript. So we say here script dollar function and inside function I say that set 
timeout. And we need to get that dollar dot loader dot fade out. And we're gonna call it like five seconds maybe. Let's make it three seconds so we can see it easily. Now I'm gonna remove this display none for now. So when page loads, it stays there and then goes away. Now it goes away for three seconds and I the fade out I give it three seconds and we don't want three seconds that's too much for fade out. So I a one second and this uh, set time out to be three seconds. Okay. I refresh the page. It goes away. Go to new page, it comes again. It goes away. So you see that it your content is getting loaded, then it goes away. Now let's decrease the time. I say 15, so I think it's still much time, so let's make it 5 and let's make it 1 second. So if I get it to main page, then we get it to our movies, upcoming movies, and you can see it looks far better. So this is how you add the loading to, um, if you go to some particular movie, let's say this one, it still comes, your content loads, and if you want more time, you can change the time. It comes on every page because you added it to the loader file.